What's going on? It's yours truly, Trent. Trent is Henderson. You are tuned in once again to the famous Living Room Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we do right. So I woke up this morning, man. This was the first intuition that come to my head. Like to make this video, the six dangerous things that will happen if you disrespect a chosen star seed. That's right. A child of the universe. I'm warning you right now, this video is quite chilling, it's very shocking, and it might be disturbing if you are not a starseed, okay? If you're not a starseed and you're watching this video and you still contemplate whether or not you're a starseed or not after you've heard these dangerous things, I really highly suggest you to get in a quiet space after this video and report to the universe and just ask, like, am I chosen? Am I chosen? Or if not, I want to be chosen, okay? Uh, this video is specifically for people who know for a fact they are chosen. And you know if you are chosen or not. You know you are chosen because it's like every day, it's like you have something helping you. It's like you have something showing you signs, okay? It's like this higher power is protecting you. It's, it's, it's keeping you on the right path. Is that you? Are you a chosen starseed? If you are a chosen one and you know for a shadow, without a shadow of a doubt, you are chosen, smash that thumbs up button and don't lie. Keep it 100, okay? Keep it real, all right? So let's get down into some of these things that will happen if you mess with these people. First and foremost, one thing you got to understand about these people, these, these chosen ones, the star seas, these child of God, universe, whatever, listen, these people are almost like possessed like okay they they come off different they almost like possessed like by not by something negative but by pure positive energy okay these people radiate a hundred percent goodness total opulence okay when you when you in the presence of a chosen one you don't feel no negative energies on this person you don't feel that they jealous of you you don't feel no hate these per these people are so pure and kind hearted that is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> you ever had somebody like that? Yeah. You don't really come across them too often because uh, chosen ones are like diamonds. All right. Now we don't, we don't know why the universe just picked people to be chosen and some people just average. I don't know why. I don't know why the universe creates rocks, but this rock is a diamond and light can transfer through the rock. And this rock over here is ugly and is sedimentary or is igneous, you know, I don't understand why the universe makes rocks different from some other rocks and they have more value than other rocks. That's just the way it is, all right? The universe uh, has, has picked these chosen ones to do a special mission here on earth. They have a special task that they have to accomplish and that mission will not be aborted by anything or anyone, which is what makes it very dangerous if you try to disrespect these chosen ones, all right? It, it just gonna come back on you and it's just going to be terrible, okay? So uh, a chosen person could be anybody. It don't matter what race you is. It don't matter what religion you from, man. You could be anybody. Or well, you come in many different forms in, in fashion. See, that's why you gotta be careful when you're dealing with people because you, if you stereotypically like try to judge somebody based on like face value or what they wearing or you know the things that they're saying you could be completely tricking yourself of what's really going on this person might be chosen but see you got to be careful with who you're dealing with and you got to make sure you treat people with respect because the moment you disrespect somebody who the universe has chosen it's going to come back on you real real quick all right it's a lot of people in high places man that that, that do great things nowadays the inventors uh, you know, great physicians and celebrities and athletes and stuff. And man, they'll be the first to tell you that they, they didn't, they are not where they are for no, no mistake. It's like some force. Okay. It's like some force kind of like catapulted them into success, into greatness. You know, a lot of people that's like super mega rich and stuff like that, man, they ain't get there on their own power and effort. <laughs> Listen, most of them are chosen, just like you if you are watching this video, okay? They are chosen, all right? Um, chosen people are sacred. They are very sacred, man. You can't you can't do nothing to them, man. You know, it is what it is. It, it was written, okay? These people are anointed with special powers, special abilities, okay? They are all amongst us, okay? 
They are all amongst us. These people are almost like supernatural life. Okay, that's that's another reason why it's very it'll be very stupid and foolish for you to try to disrespect somebody. Okay, uh, so here here are some of the dangerous things that will happen, man. Um, uh, when you try to do, if you try to disrespect a chosen one or a star CEO, um, you will know you're doing something bad. You you will just know that you're doing something that you're not supposed to do. As a matter of fact, most people who come in contact with a, a chosen one or star C, they are warned. You get a warning. You only get one warning messing with these people. I'm telling you, because if you put your hand on the flock and you do something wrong, like something like a wolf, okay. The shepherd, you're going to have to deal with the shepherd. And it's just the way it is. Okay? Next time you come back out and try to mess with that flock, it might be some poison on the ground. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Okay? These people are very, very dangerous. All right? Um, if you are a chosen one, if you are a star seed watching this video right now, uh, I'm pretty sure you can recall some moments in your time when you have got into things and altercations with people. Or you feel like somebody was manipulating you, somebody did you wrong, turned their back on you or whatever, and you seen what happened to them a month after or however long it took after. But you probably look back into that person's life and you saw that they was on drugs all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Or you you probably heard through the grapevine they wrecked a brand new car. Yeah, like, oh, you probably heard, you know, uh, you know, you know your friend, you know, your friend, yeah, she she lost her job. Yeah, and she yeah, and she lost her man. Like for real, you know, like for real, like it's like if you if you disrespect these people, these good hearted, kind hearted, positive energy field, inspiring people. If you disrespect that level of energy. OK, man, you, it's almost like you got a spell on you now. You got a spell on you. You are not if you disrespect a chosen one, man, you, you ain't going to be able to get them off your mind. OK, it's going to always be on your consciousness. OK, as if, as, as if you did something really bad to somebody, they're going to, they're going to be in your mind at all times until you clear it up. Okay. Until you forgive them and forgive yourself. All right. There's no way you can get over on these people. Okay. So like I said, man, before even, before somebody even try to do anything to you, man, they always get a warning. They always get that warning. Like, listen, I'm just letting you know now, don't, don't mess with this person. It'd be a random person. It'd be a random person coming up to you and be like, Hey, you sure? You sure you, you think you wanna um, you think you wanna mess with her? Or man, you sure you, you think you can handle her, man? For real, man. She seemed like a whole big package, bro. Like she seemed like she come with the whole four course meal, dog. You, are you sure? She ain't like all the other little the girls you've been messing with, but, but she different. You, you sure? You know what I mean? You say, yeah, you better be ready to know what you're getting into because I'm telling you, man, the the, the universe don't play when it comes down to the chosen ones. I'm telling you, they don't play. We've seen countless stories of it. We've seen stories in the Bible. They hated on Daniel in the Bible because Daniel can interpret dreams and stuff like that. They they thought that you know he he was uh he was cocky he he had this air of confidence about himself since he was so young and guess what they did to him but didn't work they threw the man in the lion's den with a lion and locked him in there all night long all to find out the next morning the lion didn't even do nothing. It was said in the Bible that an angel came down into the den and put something on that lion's mouth to where he couldn't even touch Daniel. We see how we see how the universe protect these chosen people. I give you another. I give you another examples. Uh, some more examples. Uh, we see in a movie. Look at the movie Three Hundred. What was his name? Who was the leader of the Spartans? Lee Unitas. Lee Unitas was chosen. He had it in his heart to lead. His people, okay, to promised land. He was a fighter. He was a Spartan, okay? They had to test him first to see if he was chosen. What they do to Leonidas when he was a little boy? They sent him out in the jungle, in the wilderness by himself. And what did he have to do after? He came back with the, uh, he came back with the bear coat. He came back with the fur, the wolves, all that. He came back with all that stuff to his, uh, to his tribe. And people was like, he had grown up and everything. Like he was, he the one. He the one. Now he the king. Now he the now he the one to lead all the other Spartans. Okay, he was chosen. It ain't nothing you could do with these people. They kill giants like David and Goliath. Like David and Goliath. They the story went like you know Goliath says something about the creator of the universe. Uh, David David heard it. David heard it when he heard it. He told King Saul he want to fight Goliath. 
The first time he got in there, nobody ever defeated Goliath. When, when David got in there, he had one rock and a slingshot, shot the slingshot, hit him in the forehead, killed the giant. Just like that. Why? Because the universe was on his side. Listen, the universe is real, folks. It's alive and it's living. I'm telling you, and it has special people that it looks out for, okay? Some people, I don't know. They they just don't got this special. They don't got this special anointing or they don't got this special power with them, but some people do, okay? And so, you know, when it comes down to uh, even disrespecting these people, man, it, it'll be some people that can't even come into a chosen person's life because they're not on the right frequency. If you're a chosen person watching this video, have you ever wondered why, like, you did all the things right, you know, with this new friend or this new specific person you brought into your life? Like, everything was right. You have not disrespected this person. You did everything that they wanted you to do, okay? You always showed up when they needed you and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, they just flipped the script on you. Like, all of a sudden, they just come out one day and just totally disrespected you. Or all of a sudden, they just do something behind your back and you find out that they did it. And you're like, yo, what? Really? What did they do that at? Like, what did they do that at? Like, how could you dare disrespect me? I'm the, I'm the most positive person you can ever meet in your life. But yeah, and, you know, they actually do something, you know, strange behind your back or whatever, or, you know, something that is really bad to you, or they trying to bring you down or something. Okay, listen, people like this, they, they don't they don't have no match to the universe. They don't have no match to who you truly are. Okay, listen, karma's going to come on that person really, really fast, really, really fast. Okay, and it don't matter if they do something behind your back that you don't see. It don't matter. Nothing is in the dark, okay? Nothing goes unseen in the universe. Everything is taken into account. So if somebody, if somebody thinks that they're getting over you or talking behind your back, it don't matter. The universe will let you know exactly what happened and they will be punished for it, okay? It, shit, they might be, they, they might end up dying, okay? They might end up dying. I mean, we, we've seen many stories of people in the Bible dying for, for messing with the chosen ones, okay? You got an army of 300 people fighting 20,000, 30 people and kill all of them because that power is with you. That power is with you as a chosen person and you always on a high frequency. It's going to be some people that come into your life. You can't even, they can't even connect with you. They're going to throw, throw a frenzy for no reason, like demons inside of them. Like they, it's like they got a demon inside of them. Like, like they, they're going to do things like that in front of your face because they, they cannot they cannot contest your spirit if you chosen. They can't even break through the gate to even like come to your yard to even mingle with you type of shit. Like for real, you are very dangerous in a positive way. Star C, chosen one. Okay. Um, and, and that's just the reality of the situation, man. Um, even in my own personal life, man, you know, being the type of person that I am, always about good things, always about good intentions and, you know, making myself better so I can make other people's lives better in the world a better place. Never will ever have the thought to, to do somebody dirty or somebody wrong. And, you know, I've had my little share of negative people come into my life and whatnot. And at this point in my life, I've grown to not even pay it any attention no more. I just let it go. Why? Because I know divine powers are always working because we do Right. So there's really nothing you have to worry about. Like some, it's going to be people come to you with motives, ill intentions, all kind of stuff. Listen, they're going to try to get in arguments with you. They're going to try to try to make you out to be wrong. Listen, it ain't even nothing for you to even get into. If you know that you are chosen, now you at the point of your journey where you shouldn't even have to even bring your energy levels down. You shouldn't even have to bring your level of vibration down to these people. OK, because they're going to get what's coming to them. Just for disrespecting you anyway. You not by yourself if you are a chosen one. You got angels and all kind of legions of Michaels around you, archangels. Everybody is on your side. The whole universe is on your side if you are a chosen one or if you are a star seed, a child of the universe. Okay? But I'm warning, I'm warning, I'm warning you, man. These are the people you can't mess with, dog. These are the ones. These people are more dangerous than any criminal. On the face of the earth, these people are dangerous. Okay, dangerous. Like <laughs> you, you do, you do something wrong to a chosen one, man. I'm, you could end up ill in the hospital. Like stuff, like like really tragic stuff, man. Like really tragic stuff. You could end up, 
you could you could end up uh getting beat up by somebody else. The universe will send somebody else to beat you up and stuff like <laughs> like for real. Like I'm telling you, man, it is really real. Y'all, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know I ain't just exaggerating this stuff, man. But these chosen ones, these star seeds, they really have this special thing about them, man, to where you cannot tamper with it. You cannot you cannot mess with them. You can't screw them over. It's only gonna come back on you in the long run. OK, it's a lot of people out here right now that's living their life and they still going through hardships and negativities and struggles. But see, they don't even know what they did. OK, most of the time it got to do with them disrespecting somebody that was chosen along their path. And now they, they karma is paying for it in the latter days of their life. And they don't even know the reason why they're going through the thing that they're going through, why they're going through the torment they're going through. They don't even know what the reason why they're suffering and why nobody can never, ever come back into their life to, for them to be able to love is because they somewhere in the past, nine times out of 10, they disrespected somebody that was a star seed or that was chosen. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. The universe love the chosen ones. I'm telling you, love the chosen ones. So if you're watching this video and this video resonated with you, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with some people. Share this video with some people. I want to make sure people ain't out there disrespecting these people. Man. I, I wish everybody the best. You know, uh, I wish everybody positive energy, love. I wish everybody blessings. But listen, these are the people you do not want to mess with. Okay, fellas. If, it, if you notice, if it's a girl or whatever, and you have a sense that she chosen, it ain't a negative bone in her body, bro, and you know she good, if you know for a fact in your heart the girl is good, bro, do not even try to get into a relationship with her or nothing like that. If you know you ain't going to be loyal to it, just you might as well go ahead and hang it up. You'd be better off going to get a little, 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 little bum Sheikha. You know what I mean? Go get a little bum Sheikha, man. Bum, bum Sheikha, man. She cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but don't mess with her, boy. You mess with her. You mess with her and you disrespect her, boy, you might wake up and it be a ring of fire around your house. Your tree might catch on fire and fall in your house, boy. I'm telling you, it's real serious like that. Yeah, but I'm, you know, I'm just being funny at that end part, but I'm for real. At the, end, at the end of the day, I am for real. All right. But um, like I said, this message resonated with you. Smash that thumbs up button if you are chosen. Speak up. Let your voice be heard below. I know some of y'all can relate to some of the stuff that I was talking about in this video because y'all don't seen it happen to people that have disrespected y'all. Y'all have seen karma go into people's lives and get them back for the way they treated you. Y'all done seen it. Comment below and let me know some things that you've seen when it come down to you being chosen by the universe and how the universe, you know, repaid people that did you dirty comment below don't leave this video without comment below now i already know half of y'all gonna be like trend let me get a smoky quartz crystal like you got listen folks this is my new smoky quartz crystal and i've been wearing this thing out everywhere i go everybody be like yo what's that i like that you know they automatically know you enlightened or you you got something to do with positive energy when they see with these things on man and this is the real deal one ain't no links in the chain or nothing like that so it can't break like most necklaces and stuff do it ain't gonna never tarnish. Um, this is in this is like in sealed on the rock. This top of this piece, the capsule is sealed on the rock. So it ain't it, it don't even come off. It come with the stone, the charm stone, and the necklace. I'll send it to you. If you want to purchase it, you can purchase it today. No, it's not free. If it was free, it wouldn't mean anything to you. It wouldn't mean anything to me. <laughs> so if you want to purchase this smoky quartz crystal to protect yourself from negative energy and raise your vibration, send me an email. At the bottom, trainingsanderson at gmail.com. For those of you who ain't got no session with me, phone session, send me an email. 30-minute phone session, just send me an email. Super inexpensive. If you want to do a video chat with me, contact me in Wizio by clicking that link below. Just click that link. Just set up your video chat. Or if you have a question that you want to ask me, click that Wizio link, and I will send you a response back in video form. And I've been doing it to a lot of y'all. Uh, the past couple of days. So if you ain't got one yet, get yours today. I'll be talking to you and asking your questions today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon right there and have the bell notification turned on. You, you got to have the bell notification turned on to get my videos as soon as they pop up. Make sure that y'all hit that thumbs up button. Check out one of these other videos right here. In the meantime, I'm still looking for a lucky person that I want to invite to me. Continue to share videos. I am watching. See y'all in the next video. Peace.